I understand why YouTubers hate their job now. I'm filming two videos tonight. This is two of two. What is up everybody? My name is Katarina, also known as The Extra Tomboy on Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. Go ahead and check that out whenever you have time. If you are here for the first time, please go ahead and check this video out and then hit subscribe if you like me. Go ahead and give a thumbs up to the video. If you've been here twice, you might as well just go ahead and you like the first video. You clearly like this one too, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And now I'm gonna teach you guys five tips on how to become a talent manager. When I first started out in this industry, I didn't necessarily know what talent management was. I didn't understand why you took a portion of everything from your client. I didn't understand what exactly that entailed you to do. I read so much on it. It made so much sense, but it also was so unclear to me because when you are a manager of music, it is one thing. When you're a manager of being an actor, it's another. And when you are a manager of an influencer, it means something totally different. There's just kind of a lot of different titles if you're a manager and a lot of different things you do I like to kind of describe being a manager as you are a professional babysitter It just depends on how high maintenance your clients are But a lot of times like I'm kind of like their mom in ways and you know They look up to me in ways and they call me for advice and things like that So the majority of my clients I'm kind of like, you know, their big sister or their mom step one to becoming a talent manager is you have to be creative you have to have some sort of creativity because at, at one point or another you are going to be asked by your clients how to title a video what are some video ideas where should I travel I want to start a merchandise company I don't know what to call it just so many different things and you know you have to be there to facilitate all of that when they ask you or when they tell you hey like yeah I might be on YouTube now now, but I want to be a musician don't take that if you can't handle it and as a manager it really is your job to handle it if they say something so off the wall I want to become a public speaker I want to become a you know hip-hop artist I want to become I want to be an actor I want to be this I want to be that my thing is is like okay cool whatever my clients want to be I try to make that happen that is my job if I have to go to record labels and get to know people from the digital side and try to switch over to traditional talent side then I absolutely will that is my job throughout the years I've gained connections with tons of publicists and I'm able to network through them basically what happens is they get invited to parties all the time I go to the parties with them utilize those couple of hours that you're there pass out as many business cards as you possibly can have talk to as many people as you possibly can have and you get out and go it is so important to gain professionalism in this industry as a talent manager if you're trying to become a talent manager, you need to carry utmost professionalism. So honestly, I think that a great tool to utilize that people don't utilize is those event websites and you type in entertainment or music or whatever it is and they have events all the time that are free. If there are free events that you could be going to, you need to just go to them. You need to figure out a way to get there, figure out the time, figure out a professional outfit and I highly suggest to get some business cards for yourself print it out especially if you are a manager you need business cards you just do so that is you know the first kind of little tidbit of information is being creative I just realized that I used a whole tangent of being creative to go into networking so number two I have talked about networking to death on my previous video so I would really appreciate it if you guys went ahead and checked that video out in order to understand what I'm talking about in this one to become a manager you have to network so networking for me I did a lot of networking on Twitter Instagram and LinkedIn when I first started out and got into this industry it does not have to be where you go out to a party you don't absolutely have to do that but once you start to build enough of a name for yourself it is highly suggested that you go ahead and do that because at the end of the day, if your face isn't getting out there, you're out of sight and out of mind and nobody cares about you. Network, 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 network. I cannot express that enough. The next thing is knowing how to point out talent. Talent management has gone in such a different direction because a lot of talent are influencers and a lot of talent are, you know, they're young, they're kids, they're like so different from what it was five or six years ago. When you find your talent or whatever you're looking for, you need to make sure that they're in the angle that you 
you work within and that you have the proper connections to facilitate. So for me, I would never reach out to a beauty blogger because I no longer have any connections to the beauty industry like I used to. First two years of working with influencers solely, I did have connections to the beauty industry and I just, it's not really my angle. I didn't enjoy doing it. It was something that, you know, beauty influencers in my opinion are extremely high maintenance and they complain about making one video a week and editing it as if like that's a full-time job. My personal opinion is shut the fuck up and just keep it pushing, but that's that. I'm probably going to piss some people off with that one. Sorry. Knowing how to point out talent, it could be... I don't really know how to explain how to point out talent, so I'm actually going to just create an entire video to elaborate on how to point out talent, and that'll be more constructive. I just feel like this one little point just can't be explained in a couple of minutes. The next one is to stay connected. So once you've gone to these networking events, and once you've figured out how to be creative, and once you've figured out how to get your talent, you you have three working parts now. You need to stay connected. Your talent you need to talk to at least once a week. Very important to I actually have just most of my clients jumbled up into a group chat and we all talk on there. Just because it's easier with my junior talent manager working with me as well as my clients. I have them all, you know, she's able to facilitate whatever deals are on the table. They're able to facilitate their channel demographics or whatever's happening there that is you know how I like to work but staying connected with brands and with people that are outside of your inner circle is very important and when I say that I mean and when I say that I mean reaching out once a month or once every other month hey how are you whether that's email DM whatever it is just make sure that you're constantly staying in touch with these managers with other managers with PR people with brands with you know venues if you have connections to venues and you're going to do something with that in the future just make sure that you are always staying connected the last one i'm so tired guys the last tip and trick is that you need to be willing to risk a lot to become a talent manager much like your counterparts of influencers and whatever creative individuals that you work with you have to be able to throw it all out on the table for me i had to throw away a lot of my friends I had to move out of San Diego. I moved to Atlanta and then I ended up moving back to LA because it just wasn't working for me. I cut everybody out of my life that showed the slightest distinction of not caring about what I was doing and not being involved in what I was. I have friends that are still around that I've been friends with since high school and you know it's for me like it's you set the tone and the energy for how you want your career to be. If you want your career to be your entire life you're going to make that career your entire life and I'm not saying you have to live breathe and sleep this particular career but if you don't live breathe and sleep talent management it might not be the position for you this is not this is not a job that you just wake up one day and decide to do it's not as easy as that this isn't a job that you decide yeah I'm gonna be a talent manager but I'm also gonna be like a normal person at the same time no as soon as you've changed your title to I am a talent manager you get questions all the time you have people asking oh you work with like famous people oh um you like, you do this. Oh, um, so like, what's the most famous person that you've worked with? Oh, what's the most amount of money that you made? People that know that you're a talent manager are gonna wanna know so much about your life and so much about your career and you just kinda feel like bare-boned and like you can't even really protect yourself. The best way to do that is just cut ties and risk everything and that was what I found was best for me to utilize and to be able to make the amount of money that I wanted to make. I had to make sacrifices sacrifices. We're constantly surrounded by at least one shitty friend. So start out with cutting that shitty friend out and then just keep going if you need to. And for me, like I've been surrounded throughout my life by a lot of really shitty people just because it was, you know, comforting or easier for me to hang on to. And I actually just read something in this book that I'm reading about letting go. I low key want to share it. It says right here, I was going to lose all the people in the world that I'd grown close to and I have to some extent 
time. But where it's mattered, I've retained the most important relationships. It was the biggest risk I took losing relationships, but I knew it was time for a change. So for me, it was like, I literally woke up and was just like, okay, I'm going to become a blogger. And in order to become a blogger, I need to dedicate 60 hours a week to reading and reviewing and consuming content, literally just so that I can have enough content to write about. So I was, I think I was posting like three to five times a week. So in order to do that, I had to have an immense amount of content. But on top of this, I was also working a day job um, at a, for a coin collector, really weird job. Anyway, I was this dude's receptionist and executive assistant. So I handled everything for this dude three days a week. I was there. I was in school two days a week. And then I also was working, I think Thursday to Monday at a restaurant. So I was already working like 40 hours a week with that and then on top of it consuming content for this for this blog that I had. It's just whatever you want to focus. If you want to spend 10 hours a week hanging out with your friends, that's great, but you will not be able to work the designated hours that you want to work. You're not going to be able to so I've tried to film the end of this video like five times and my phone just kept saying that there's not enough room for it to be stored. Basically, long story short, what I was trying to say is that you need to be willing to work your ass off in this industry to be able to get anywhere. What I mean by risking it all is like, you gotta get rid of friends, you have to get rid of family members if they're negative. Anything that is gonna put you on a lower vibration and frequency than what you want. And that, that goes for really anything in life. You need to put yourself and elevate yourself higher in order to do better for yourself. That is all the time that we have for today. These are my two videos for the week. I hope that you guys enjoy these videos. If you do, go ahead and subscribe and leave a comment down below. Like I said in the beginning of this video, go ahead and ask me questions. I will be answering them on next week's video. Thank you so much. Have a good one.